Welcome to the Eliza Studio Quick Starts. This video will cover audio routing basics from your playback software to the Eliza processor desktop application for spatial processing via the Eliza Audio Bridge virtual audio device. Eliza is an object-based mixing approach with spatialization of up to 96 available inputs. Rather than simply mixing down to stereo stems, individual instruments can be separated and controlled within Eliza. As shown in a previous video, the Eliza processor desktop application can be used to monitor both the audio inputs and outputs. As a reminder, the processor desktop must be running in order to get audio signals in and out of Eliza. This video will cover audio routing basics for Pro Tools, Ableton Live, Logic, and Reaper. If your software of choice isn't covered in this video, the principle remains the same. In Pro Tools, this can be found in Setup, Playback Engine. To note, selecting a different audio device as the audio engine will require a restart of Pro Tools. It is important to check I.O. routing settings, ensuring that routing for both bus assignment and output are 1 through 96. In both cases, it's always good to double-click Default to make sure that everything is routed as expected. On the main mix window, individual tracks can be routed to your preference. For example, on the violin, we can assign its output to be either mono or stereo. In this case, we are working with a mono file and will assign the track to output 1. You can cascade selected outputs easily by multi-selecting the remaining tracks and pressing the keys Command Option Shift on Mac and Windows Logo Alt Shift on Windows. When audio is played, you should see metering from Pro Tools into the Eliza processor desktop as expected. For routing in Ableton Live, open the preferences and set your audio output device to the Eliza audio bridge. Adjust the output configuration that both mono and stereo outputs are enabled. By default, some outputs may be disabled, so please ensure to enable the outputs you need for your project requirements. To route an audio track into Eliza, change the output send to external out under the audio to section and select your desired output from the list. You will see stereo outputs first and the mono outputs afterwards. For routing in Logic Pro, open the preferences and set your audio output device to the Eliza audio bridge. On a track, assign your outputs to the channel strip or on the mixer view by clicking the field where it might say stereo out and choose from the range of mono or stereo outputs. You can cascade selected outputs by selecting the next track and using the keyboard shortcut Control Option Command on Mac while defining the desired output. Any additional tracks selected will cascade their outputs accordingly. In Reaper, open the preferences and set your audio output device to the Eliza audio bridge. To route a track to a new output, open the track routing. Make sure that the box for Master Send is unticked and then choose a new hardware output with stereo outputs listed first, followed by the mono outputs. For quicker routing, open the routing matrix by navigating to View, Routing Matrix, or with the keyboard shortcut Option-R on Mac and Alt-R on Windows. The matrix shows all tracks on the left column with the outputs in the rows. Here, you can quickly make any routing changes as shown. In Nuendo, open the Studio dropdown and select Studio Setup. Go to Audio System and check that the Eliza Audio Bridge is being used as the audio driver. Adjust the audio configuration by going to the Studio dropdown and selecting Audio Connections. Depending on how this is currently set up, you may need to add more buses. By clicking Add Bus, you can add whatever mono and stereo buses that you need. In this case, we will be using 16 mono buses. Here, you can also rename or reroute any of these outputs. To route an audio channel to Eliza, select it and on the left-hand side, select the output routing you desire. To cascade the outputs, open the Mix Console, select your channels, and while clicking Shift, select your routing. 
any selected tracks will cascade their outputs accordingly. This has been the Eliza Studio Quick Start for Audio Routing Basics.